Okay, we've been dealing with a intermittent failure to start. Very frustrating over the last five or six months with this Saturn ion. When it fails, all it does is click. You can hear the click of the solenoid. Sometimes you can jump it, sometimes you can't. The starter's almost new. Here it is using the factory wiring with some extensions on it, and it performs just fine. And it will run fine for weeks and weeks, and then all of a sudden, no start. And then I get the car back, start it right up. So I'm going to do a voltage drop test to try to find the problem, whether in the wire or connections. It's coming from the positive terminal on the battery, which is in the trunk, all the way back to our meter. This will be done under power on the positive side of the meter. The negative side of the meter, the black lead, is hooked up to the B terminal on the starter. It's actually on the lug there. So let's fire it up. We need to turn the engine with this test, not turn it over. And I built a remote start switch that I'm wiring up to do that. Okay, this is too high, but first let's look at the negative before we go further into this. Let's see, let's now go from the negative terminal on the battery um, to the starter case. Now in this battery, the terminal's recessed, so I'm actually not going to go from the terminal itself because I'm just going to add more resistance in my testing circuit. Instead, I'm going to go from the lug here that's on the chassis ground, and here I am hooking it up to the uh, case on the starter. Don't use the bolt where it bolts to the engine. Go right to the case. Good clean piece of metal. Okay, point 0.1 is excellent. That positive voltage drop is too high, 0.7, so we're checking that long wire that comes from the battery plus terminal, and it terminates over here by the fuse relay center. Okay, that's point 0.4, but that is a long piece of wire. That leaves a 40-inch piece of wire that's dropping 0.3 volts before it gets to the starter. So this 40-inch section, I've decided not to voltage drop test it. I'm just going to pull it out and take a hard look. It's dropping 0.3 volts. Take it off the starter. Now we're going to take the other end off the uh, battery, the relay uh, fuse center here. Just got to remove a little 10 millimeter stud they have on here, and then a 13 millimeter bolt. That's the one that goes back to the battery plus terminal. And this is our cable that we want. It should be loose on the other end. We've got to feed it through. Here it comes. Right away on uh, look, taking a look at this, the way it's taped up with a thick ball of tape on it, it isn't factory. Somebody's been in here. Let's take this in under better light. Checking it from end to end. This end looks good. That's by the terminal center, by the fuse center, but this end, this is not good. This isn't an original end on here. Somebody's crimped something on here. Look at this thing is absolutely horrible. Frayed, burned, corroded, and loose. This explains a lot about why the car wouldn't start from time to time and why when I disturbed and took the starter out, I got it going again. Okay, we're not going to try to fix this cable like somebody else did. I'm putting a brand new one in, Standard Motor Products, Rock Auto, $16. This is a solid quality product. I tried to find it locally, as I always do first, but Napa didn't have it. Okay, I'm going to clean up these connections, the surfaces, the mating surfaces, using a little steel wool here to get around the corner. And we'll also brighten up the lug, some sandpaper, both sides, both lugs. And then I'm going to do the bolt itself, the threads, with some contact cleaner. Spray a dab of that on there to remove oxidation before we install. 
I'm using some Permatex copper on here for corrosion protection mostly on these fittings. They were quite corroded as well. But also it's got copper in it, which is of course an excellent conductor. So we're spreading that around. So put some Permatex copper on all the fittings down here at the starter before I have bolted them on. I also cleaned up the S terminal, little eight millimeter, um, and uh, put some corrosion protection on that as well. Let's recheck the positive drop battery to starter. And it's an improvement of two tenths of a volt with that new cable. But even more importantly, I have every confidence this is going to be a good starting car now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, because there's more interesting and useful videos on the way.